Hello, Facebook, YouTube. How are you doing? My name is Irwin here. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, I want to talk to you about a subject today. How much money have they taken out of our economy? But first, I need for you to like, share, subscribe, and comment, and ring that bell so you'll know when I post my videos. Like I said, my channel is called To Thine Own Self Be Woke. Now to get into the subject of how much money have they taken out of our economy? I was doing this on my calculator the other day. I took 5 million times 30,000 because I was figuring it was a $30,000 job. It's a factory job. Okay. At least you would make $30,000 a year. I took 5 million times 30,000 and push equal. You know, that number is so big that it does not come up on a calculator. It can't even compute that because it's so much money taken out of our economy. And that's just with robots. We're not talking about jobs that they put overseas and stuff like that. This is just robots. These are the jobs that are taken here. And that's the money that's out of our economy. Can someone please tell me, how are you making money when you cutting out your base? I really would like to know how that happens. How can they say, is it a temporary thing? Is it a permanent thing? What? Because you're permanently cutting out your base. Are you making money? I think we, they, they try to chase the big number, not the big money. I think they look at Jeff Bezos and Jeff Bezos has a lot of, that's big numbers. But does he have big money? How much of it is liquid asset? How much money does he have? You, you under, do you understand what net worth is? Net worth is everything, houses and everything combined. They never say, well, this is how much money he has. Look at Donald Trump. He says he's worth $10 billion. How much money do you have? How, uh, just, is, because it has Trump Tower or whatever, you own it? And do you own that? Or is your name just on it? They pay you for your name. Because are you saying, well, because I heard that you put my name and word for $4 billion. Really? Is that money? So we need to ask, just because you say, hey, this is what I'm worth. How much money do you have? How much actual money do you have? Can you pay or, your bill or are you borrowing money? They say, well, he can borrow up to this. Okay. He can borrow that. Well, if he borrows it, don't he got to pay that back? 
And so, if he got to borrow it, he didn't have it. He just got good credit. That That's it. And they said, well, we'll loan you this. Can he pay it back? Or is he going to still chase that big number? We need to, uh, we need to realize what they say, what is said. I was looking at Will and Grace or not. And the rich lady, Karen, I think her husband had died or whatever. I forgot what it was. And she said, well, I can't get any of his money because it's all borrowed. Wait a minute, all his money was borrowed? Does that mean he's rich or rich in debt? I think we've got a lot of rich, broke-ass people. They say they're rich, but they're really broke. Or they're in debt. Because if you borrow that, do you have it? They say, well, he has this. He can borrow against it. Oh, he can borrow against it. So, does that, is that money? Well, no. Well, don't he got to pay that back? Yeah. But, so, if he pays that back, can he pay it back tomorrow? He got to borrow against it. Okay, he borrowed against it. Does he, does that say he got, that doesn't mean he got money. That does not mean that he has money. That means that he's got, he can borrow, borrow some money. That ain't what he got. He ain't got no money, so we need to find out how much money you actually have. Because they can say, well, he he's, he lost $15 billion. Well, just think about you. I can't lose $15. It'll hurt. And he lost $15 billion and it didn't hurt him? He lost billions of dollars, or did he lose a number? It's that what he's losing. It's not money. He's losing a number. And they move around numbers. They're not moving around money. It's just numbers being moved around. You see, when people go rob a place, they rob, they trying to get money. They ain't trying to get the number. When he go buy, when you go buy stuff, you buy it with that, excuse me, you buy it with your money. You don't buy it with a number. That's just why, that's why they don't want to do an ex they only want to do exchange of short credit because they've already counted your money and guess what they want you to shop in the store they don't want you to take that money out that store even though you don't want the product i can only give you a store credit because we've already counted that money. We've already added that to our bottom line. And we don't want to take it out, excuse me. So, start asking and start looking at, do you just got a big number? Do you got big money?
is it are you saying that you're a billion, are you, are you just saying you're a billionaire because you can say anything but are you they can say anything he don trump says a lot of stuff is he really because you can look at everybody in his administration. When they get out, they want to publish a book. When, when they get out, they want to start saying stuff about him. When they get out. So you look like a disgruntled employee. Say it while you're in there. Say it while you're in, not out. Now they want to say he's not a billionaire because they know it when they got in it. But they want to say it when they get out. A lot of people say Jeff Bezos, he's wealthy as hell. They want to say that when they in there, not when they out. When they get out, oh no, he ain't got no money. You sound like a disgruntled employee. And Seth said, actually, no. He had to borrow that. He had to do this. He had to do that. He was trying to liquidate assets, and guess what? He really couldn't do it. That's, I, I mean, I really want to just tell you, there's a lot of, Broke, rich people. And we say they're rich. And they're not. They're not. Look at all those housewife shows. They ain't just doing it just to be doing it. They're doing it for some money because they broke. They need some money because they broke. And they let somebody in their house. And you're comment on it. Oh, you, you like that drum. And you want to ask, how much money you have, really? Well, uh, uh, no. How much money do you have? Can you continue to spend like that you're spending? And a lot of them can't unless they do that show. So you need to find out who has big, is it a big number or is it big money? You need to find out different. First, like I said, first of all, take 5 million times 30,000 and see if you can come up with a number. See if you come up with a number. See what you get. You're probably not going to get too much. If you get anything at all. If you don't break your calculator because you can't calculate up that high. And then you ask, Hey, this is how much money is being taken out of our economy? Yep, it is. So please, like, share, subscribe, comment, and actually leave what you get on your calculator. Actually, if you get a number. Please do that. Comment, please. You have a good day.